I'm going to show you how to do a lovely textured updo on Celeste today. Celeste has very fine hair, so I'm going to give put a little bit of texture in the hair using some mousse and some salt spray, first of all. When you're adding texture to the hair, if you're working with fine hair, you don't need to work with very small sections. So be quite generous with your sectioning so you don't end up putting too much product in the hair so the hair becomes weighed down. We actually want to give the hair, we want to help the hair to get a little bit extra volume and oomph. So you don't want to put too much product in there right at the beginning. So quite a big section of hair. Comb that through and then we'll start to blow dry. I'd love to know what products you find work well with really fine hair. Just drop me a line and let me know. So we've got lots more kind of oomph and volume to the hair and the hair feels like it's a little bit more kind of textured. Maybe just make sure it's all dry. So now we've got a little bit of texture into the hair. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of, how to do a style working with straight hair. First of all, just going to separate the side sections so it can come back and work with those next and adapt the style to suit Celeste's face and we're going to start off working on the crown area here. Get our section for the crown first, leaving hair down at the back and at the sides just to hold the hair together first of all. Let's pop a little band in the hair Someone's got super soft, silky hair and you want to create a little bit of texture and root lift here. And it can be helpful to pop a band in the hair to hold it together. You can, if the hair's a little bit coarser, you could pop a couple of grips across the back there. And the softer the hair and the finer the hair, the stronger the product you'll need to use. So if you're working with somebody now who had quite maybe dry or coarse textured hair, you'd probably be able to get away with the Style and Care Lotion. If you need a little bit more staying power, then I would move on to the Silhouette Setting Lotion. But I think for Celeste's hair today, I'm gonna to go for the maximum power and I'm using the Osis number three dry hairspray just to get a little bit more staying power with each of these sections of hair. So now we're going to start working on the side sections. So we've got our little bit of root lift here, making sure you're happy with the shape and the texture. And then we can, I'm gonna back comb the hair a little bit at the side a little bit of hairspray and we'll bring the hair over the band and secure. So holding the hair flat against the head using my thumb here, one of the stronghold bobby pins. I use a blonde one so you can see what I'm doing properly and I'm going to slide the bobby pin in at the same angle as my thumb. So my thumb against the head the bobby pin needs to go underneath your thumb and you push against that bobby pin so it goes close to the scalp and slide that under so it's going underneath your thumb. It might be your finger you're holding the hair with, but which, whichever comes easiest for you. And then once you've got that in position and the, the bobby pin is replacing the pressure of your thumb. So it holds that in position perfectly. We're working with short hair so we can't pull the hair too loose. 
and we need another bobby pin on these shorter bits of hair. I'm going to go in, not open the bobby pin and slide that over the top. Now let's do the other side. A little bit of spray. I'm going to use a slightly stronger hold spray on this section. So I'm not going to go all the way over to the other side here because the hair is quite short. So I'm just going to create a little pleat just here. Loosen the hair a little bit. With one of your strong hold bobby pins. Going to go in, push against the back of the head. Your client needs to push just gently against you. And you can slide that up, make sure it goes underneath your finger. Has that gone into you, Celeste? No. Yeah. Okay. Underneath your finger, so it holds it nicely in position. I'm going to do Celeste's hair as if it were a trial run. So I'm not going to add any texturizing dust in. But if this were Celeste's wedding day, I definitely would add a little bit of texturizing dust into the hair here. And just play with the hair a little bit to get that natural little bit of movement in the hair. So you can use your little pins to give you some separation here if you would like to. And now let's create our little low roll at the bottom. It might take a couple of sections. The shorter the hair, the smaller the sections that you'll need to work with. So a little bit of back combing on top because I'm going to roll the hair upwards. So again, we don't have any curl in the hair here. A little bit of a stronger hold hairspray so it all holds now. Smooth out underneath. And then let's just create a little loop in the hair. And create a little pleat. And just notice with this pleat, I've created it so that the hair, the end of the hair comes down. Push that in against the head. Take another bobby pin. I'm going to push, so if Celeste pushes back against me, I push my finger in against Celeste. Slide that bobby pin underneath my finger. That's it, against the scalp. And it should feel nice and secure. So then you can go in and loosen a little bit. We'll use a slightly stronger hold hairspray there. And then let's do our next one. So the little bit of hair that's actually that feels like it needs one more bobby pin. So if it's still moving, you can go back in. Just look down a second for me, Celeste. That's better. Sometimes you can go in and not open the bobby pin this time and slide it across. That feels better go at right angles across the other grip that you had in, and then it's much more secure. So don't worry if, the, if it doesn't work the first time. The section's a little bit thick. You don't want the sections to be too thick and chunky. Let's do another one. Texturizing spray would be good if we weren't imagining we were doing a trial, but if you're doing a trial run, you don't want to put that texturizing dust in there too soon because it just limits you so then you can't if she doesn't like that style you're then stuck and it's hard to try something to try other styles so avoid as much as you possibly can using any texturizing dust when you're doing a trial run and let's create another loop a loop in the hair. Try and go in a different direction so it doesn't end up looking too uniform. Pinch that hair, that's better. I think it might look good going into the middle actually. Yeah. And we're going to create a nice low kind of chunky looking bun. Even though she's got very short hair, Got one grip in. Just look down again, Celeste, please. And then we need another grip here. That 
feels better. We're going to get a lovely little updo for somebody with short hair. Make sure you're happy with the shape. You can always come back and loosen these little sections a little bit to give it that little bit of fullness. Just put a bit of pressure on where you've got the pin when you do this, just to make sure you can feel that everything's secure and nothing is moving that shouldn't be moving. because the hair is short. Let's sit and come back up again. Great. And let's keep going. As I say, I want to imagine it's you're doing the style for somebody for a trial run, so we don't want to have texturizing dust in. So we have to work with the hair that we have. But you would just explain to your clients, if this were the case, just explain to them that you haven't put texturizing dust in so that you can try different styles just drop me a line and let me know what styles you'd like to learn next remember to hit the notification bell that hair doesn't want to go in so i'm going to let that drop down look down again celeste please that's better yeah pushing against celeste with hair here it gets shorter as you get lower down so it does get harder but persevere keep going bit more back coming down here now. Secure it in place, that's it. Go in, find your thumb, go behind your thumb or whichever finger you're holding that hair in with and secure it with your bobby pin. When it comes to back combing the hair, we want nice compact back combing and that really does make all the difference when it comes to the style staying in. Smooth the surface of the hair. Not too much, you don't want to take the back combing out. Now this may well need to be two sections, but let's just try it first. Little twist. Might be able to pick that bit of hair up there and pop it in there. Let's just see if we can do it in one. We might be able to, and if not, just come back and do it in two sections. Just remember that when you work with short hair, you need to work with smaller sections. We can't pull the hair out too much here because the hair is short and we don't want to pull it out of the pleat at the back. But you can tweak a little bit here and there to get the movement that you want. Then we can curl these front sections. And then we'll curl this hair back. It will just help her to stay cool. And we've got our fabulous little updo for short hair. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, just click like and subscribe and join me on my next video.